So, as I said before, the schedule editor is next. And it's in the schedule editor that you actually identify the buildings. Now, one of the things I don't like about this is that you have to know which building is which, basically. So you have to keep moving between the schedule editor and the track editor. Luckily, you don't have to save in the meantime. You can just keep hopping between the two and save when you're done. So I do remember building one as the iron mine, or is supposed to be the iron mine. Building two is supposed to be the coal mine, so I'll do that. Shipper is the name, in case you were wondering. So coal mine. A little problem there. Building three is the steel mill. Building four, I'm pretty sure, is the auto plant, but let's double check that. This is how we do it. We use the ID feature. That's a coal mine. That's the iron mine, as it should be. That's a steel mill. And is it the auto plant? Well, it's building four. And that's what will be the auto plant. Now, building five. Let's identify building five. I don't actually remember which one it is. I think it's the wholesaler, I think. Let's find out. There it is. Auto wholesaler. Of course, you can give all these places brand names too, like Bill's Auto Wholesaler or whatever. But I'm being very simple here, not using much imagination because I just want to get this done. Many of the industries in the built in tracks have comical names actually. Now, building seven, I want to be a passenger station, so I will say North Mines Station. And then it leaves only building six, which is another passenger station, or is intended to be. And it will be, I don't know, Fordville, because, you know, Ford Motor Company or whatever. Of course, in reality, Ford is located in Dearborn, Michigan, but we'll skip over that. Now, the cargoes. Iron, or iron ore, rather. And the destination will be the steel mill. And the revenue from that... Uh, we're talking about the steam era. Who knows what it would really be? I don't actually know that. Let's say $2,000 for the sake of argument. Then the coal mine will, of course, be shipping coal. The destination will again be the steel mill. And the revenue will probably be much less than iron, right? So $1,000. Again, I have no idea if that's authentic. And then the steel mill will, of course, be receiving those and will be shipping steel. And for the sake of argument, let's say it's the combined cost of the raw materials plus a little bit more. So, 3500 maybe? Let's see. Well, it's going to go to the auto plant. That's necessary to note, of course. So, 3500 Even though it probably would be a little bit more if you think about it. Probably you'd get more of a premium, more value added to it. I'm just being lazy. Auto plant. It's the steam era, so let's make it Ford Model T's. Except 
it won't fit. So what do I do? Ford T's, let's say. In Europe, sometimes they just call it the T. Let's say that. Ford T's. And they will go to the auto wholesaler. The revenue will max it out because they're cars. If you have a train load of cars, it's going to be expensive, right? Even if it's Model T's. Done. Auto Wholesaler will not be shipping anything in this version of this. Fordville will have passengers, and so will North Mine Station. And they will send passengers to each other. And they're just passengers in the 19 teens or 20s or whatever, let's say. 500 bucks, and it's probably optimistic for the revenue you'd get, you'd get from them. Portville Station, obviously. Revenue, 500. Done. And now we have a full schedule. That should actually run. And so, go back to the track. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit more detail to this. I'm going to add a river and a road. But that will be for the next video, because I'm running out of time here on the video, if you combine the two.